Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 12 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Once again, we've got a nice haul of Blackstone now, so let's go look at our cohort. See what upgrades we can get going today. Um, they're starting to cost a little bit more, so we're probably only going to be able to get two in. So what we've got. He's on 10. He's on 10. We're all on 10 at the moment. Okay. I want to get this refractor field generator onto Leonardus. So, let's get him an upgrade. Crash your claws of minus one cooldown and restore two more HP. Oh, yes. So, that's only given us one spare slot. That takes two, that takes one. So, that'll be okay. So, that one's going to absorb eight damage now, rather than I think that was five. Yeah, there we go. So that's a bit better. 500 left. So who should we go for? Jeremiah or Minarius? I know I did get that flamer for him. That only uses one slot, so let's get that on. I think that counts as a melee weapon. Doesn't say it, but you can use it at melee range, and he's going to be our, our melee specialist. We didn't actually upgrade him, did we? We just did a hot swap there. We got the better axe on him as well. Let's see what else we can get going. Another bit of armor. So we've already got hood, trousers, chest. 3 HP, 1 physical. 4 HP, so we'll lose 1 HP, but we'll get an extra physical out of that could go for that one. For legs, 2 HP and 2 movement. 2 HP and 3 movement. I might do that so we're not sacrificing anything. We get an extra little bit of movement. Just check to see if one of these could be more useful. Collect all cold points from one source. That is quite a good one. I've already got 2 with that. It's not going to be firing ranged weapons. Could go for that one. That one's quite a handy little one. I don't know, it's quite good though. We haven't got anyone collecting all cog points from one source yet. I think we'll go for that. That actually frees us up one slot, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. So. So that's two. It's just one. That's not going to benefit us too good. Could give him the Sanctus Canister. Yeah, let's do that. We've got 218 left, but I think it's going to be enough. Yeah, 290. Okay, that's fine. Let's have a look what missions we got. So, this one, it gives us a Gamma Pistol. A range around foot. Yeah, we saw this one last time, didn't we? The Omni Specs and the level 2 Rust Orca. It's in that one. I think that's a new one. Noise Reductor. Um, I think we're going to sack up. Am I going to have a go at this one? It says easy, but I remember rightly. The first encounter was a bit of a pain. What do we go for here? Gonna have at least one fodder, one vanguard. I think we can maybe get a rust walker in there, possibly. Hmm. I think we're gonna go for maximum fodder. Let's just check we didn't get a better canticle. Okay, I'm going to stick with these ones for now. It's a good little variety. Thank you. 
So this mission is going to be a little bit different to the ones we've been doing previously and you'll see in more detail as to why shortly but the general gist of it is we're going to be fighting renegade tech priests and servitors for heretics and because we're doing that we don't need to go down to a planet we don't need to be going into a creepy Neptune tomb we're actually going to be fighting them on our own turf on our ship the Castus Metallica. I think this is pretty cool as a Warhammer fan myself, it's really cool to be inside one of these ships for a change, rather than fighting in, like I said, a creepy Necron team. It makes combat a little bit different, and like I said, you'll see why coming up shortly. Okay, so, first one. The Rebels are supported by a host of Servitors, which form the majority of their firepower. These Servitors must be dealt with if the nascent Rebellion is to be put down. So justice through firepower. Servitors are beyond help, destroy them all and deny the Rebels their firepower. Information Warfare. The Servitors can be reset via the Engineerium's Cogitators. Hack into the Cogitators and reinstate the Servitors' loyalty protocols. That's interesting. No loss of life. Decapitation. Kill the leader of the rebels so the control of the servitors will end. Hmm. So I like the idea of the information warfare of just resetting them. But decapitation could have the same effect and kill one of the leaders. So let's go for a bit of decapitation. Objective updated. Now we'll have another couple of these. The layout of the Engineerium deck suggests several different approaches to assaulting the rebel positions. Shooting gallery. Engage the enemy at a distance to take full advantage of the cohort's ranged weapons. Flanking maneuver. Send the cohort to flank the rebels and avoid notice until they can assault the enemy up close. Or up the middle. There is no time to employ subtlety. Send the tech priest straight through the main blast doors to engage the enemy head on. I think that'll be a bit brash. I think we're going to go flank. We don't have a massive amount of long range weaponry that's any good. Tech Priest Cohort uses the labyrinth architecture of the ship's engineering decks to assault the rebels from an unexpected quarter. The Cohort has the chance to strike a blow against the rebel positions before engaging the enemy. Go loud. A group of servitors near a fuel container make a tempting target. All out. The opportunity to attack first should not be ignored. Attack immediately in full force before the fire team is discovered. Or silent strike, a rebel tech priest is patrolled in near the cohort's point of entry. They could be eliminated quietly before combat is joined. That's a tech priest, that's not a servitor. Taking out a tech priest straight away is something. I'd like to do the all out attack, but I think we're gonna try and take out that tech priest. The rebel tech priest is dragged into the shadows and dispatched with a vibro blade to the throat. The other rebels fail to notice his absence. Brilliant. One tech priest down. It's going to make this a lot easier, I think. So there's only one target highlighted but it does say kill or destroy targets yes okay, so that's another tech priest another tech priest another tech priest so maybe taking out one hasn't made it a lot easier but getting rid of that one's going to make a difference 
Definitely not splitting our guys up, that's for sure. That one guy to take on those three. No. Just move them up there. This is going to be a battle, that's for sure. Look at all those enemies. Okay, so if I can see him, you sort of can't see him because he's um he's cloaked. That makes it a bit more interesting. This is going straight in there. Close enough for us to harvest. No, too far. Can't use servo skull. Okay, sounds that one. Killed himself yet, did he? No. It's a pain in the ass. No, I don't want to be that close. Let's just pop him out here. Just start nibbling away that one. the bubble. Might be nice, has he got the, yeah, collect all cognition points from one source. So let's get all three of them, thank you. That's more like it. Oh no, the flamer icon comes up on that enemy. Okay, so let's see if we can move him here. Clip both of these in. Yeah, we can. Okay. Save on the cognition, and I think we use our Sanctus canister. It's going to give us some extra damage and crit chance. Hopefully, might reveal this one now. Damage. This is health and everything. Oh well. This is health 5 Evan. Sucking in there for now, nice and safe. Oh, 
I can move so far without sprint. Well, he's made an attack at last, so he's going to reveal himself now. Okay, so he's put the dodge on. I've got to try my best to remember not to attack him, Denarius. So he's just going to dodge. attack this guy now, can't I? What health is he on? Do we know? Come on, tell us. He's getting a big old whack. It didn't do much damage, but it stripped a couple of bits of armor off. Um, I think we're still too far away. We're only about half. Yep. Can cleanse some of his acid. So I just said he had seven health left there. That's good to know. This is us, my vanguard. He's just gonna have to just gonna have to take it. for one target so it was just one now we're going to survive two rounds okay that's not too bad so he's an opportunity with that one but he's cloaked and not revealed himself so it's basically just got to sit there although if I provoke the opportunity to attack I should reveal him so the other's going to crack on Some cock points, so it's gonna have to do. Just leave him there. Swamped now. Can't move anyways, he's an opportunity around, so I'm just gonna have to hit him. Not 
much time on. Go for some spin over health on that one. We just stand a chance. Four down, he only had five, didn't he? So he must be on one. Cool. So that's one more down. In fact, there's no point spending one on the hill free when you can spend one on the hill back. Don't really need just yet. He's got lots of shielding as well. Yeah, he'll be okay. So this guy can't attack him as he's put the dodge on me. Collect all cognition points. So let's use that. Attack him. So he's still gonna do oh yeah, he's not gonna do any damage that guy, gotta attack him. I wish I'd left one to heal. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've got canticles. Let's do that. Nearly forgot about them. last round. I thought I was going to have to go one more though, that's going to really be quite interesting. There we go, mission complete. With the Serpentors inactive or destroyed, the rebels are overwhelmed by the cohort's assault. The traitorous tech priests are cut down or fleeing to the labyrinth of Castus Metallican's interior. The true mission has only just begun, however. What prompted this rebellion? And are their leaders truly all dead? Mission success. Quite unexpected that. So we were fully surrounded there. So we've got one of these cognition mechdendrites. Mechdendrites, something like that. Um, you basically get to stab an enemy and you get a cog point off them. It's brilliant. I'm not level two servitors, so I kind of thought it was a little bit tougher now. Got some blackstone. No new canticles. So there we go. That's a nice short one, guys. Um, we did all right, though. Got the mission done. Didn't score too heavy on the Blackstone. So we'll have to make up for that in the next one. 
So if you enjoyed it, leave us a like and subscribe. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next one. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.